Hello all. Welcome to the Denoto Operations Management module. In this module, we will learn how to configure the Denoto platform as well as the Solution Manager servers so they can be efficiently used for various operations. The aim of this course is to provide administrators with knowledge about how to configure and administer the Denoto platform servers and tools. At the end of this course, administrators will have knowledge about using Solution Manager for managing multiple Denoto platform servers, configuring the virtual data port server, and other web-based tools. In addition, they will know how to take advantage of the Denoto servers and system resources. Then they will also read about managing databases, users, and roles, and how to set advanced access privileges. Lastly, they will take a deep dive into backup recommendations and best practices to be followed while using Denoto platform. Generally, Solution Manager includes the Solution Manager server and License Manager. The Solution Manager server is responsible for managing information, such as environments, clusters, and servers, whereas the License Manager acts as a repository from where all these Denoto servers obtain their license and renews it periodically. Once this is done, simple tasks like installing a new license, managing the license, upgrading a server, or deploying a new version of the metadata will be done by the Solution Manager server. Also, starting from Denoto 8, the Solution Manager automates the deployment of the Denoto platform on Amazon Web Services. The main benefit is that you can instantiate and manage your entire AWS deployment without having to create and configure custom AWS elements and without SSH connections to each individual server to configure various settings. In this section of the course, we will learn about the Solution Manager configuration, licenses, and defining infrastructure sections. In the next section of the course, we will learn about the necessary configuration to be performed by the administrators after installation of the virtual data port server to make the Denoto platform ready for the developers. This configuration includes setting up the JVM properties, caching, security, performance, resource utilization, and web container configuration. Additionally, we will also discuss the configuration parameters of various Denoto platform web applications, such as scheduler administration tool, data catalog, diagnostic and monitoring tool, and Solution Manager Administration Tool. We will also look at configuring the logging engine of Denoto Platform. In the next section, we will be talking about managing the permissions in Virtual Data Port, which is considered an administrative activity. Here in this section, Denoto administrators will be learning how to manage access rights to the Denoto servers and tools. That is, administrators will be creating virtual databases, users, and roles. Then they will also grant access privileges over these databases to specific users and roles in order to ensure data security. In the final sections of this course, administrators will get to know how they can take the backup of metadata from different Denoto platform components. This backup of data is useful in case we have to replicate the same metadata in multiple environments and also for data recovery in case of any loss. Furthermore, the administrators will learn about the general best practices and recommendations to be followed to maintain the Denoto platform components. As a final summary, in this course, we will get an idea of different configuration options available in various Denoto platform components and how they can be used for performing operations without compromising security. We hope you enjoy and learn new concepts in the training.